Hey everyone, welcome to the Filmstock channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use the horror film filter pack to enhance your videos just like this. So here we are in the Wondershare Filmora video editor and as you can see I already have my project here on the timeline and it's been fully put together. Now in this video I'll be going over how I used some of the elements from the horror film filter pack to make this video which includes adding the overlays, filters, the transitions and the sound effects. So firstly let's have a look at what the horror film filter pack comes with. In the audio tab you get 17 different sound effects. You can preview them by double clicking on the effect. And once you're ready to go back to your timeline just click back on it. In the effects tab you get 6 filters which are the top 6 and you get 18 overlays with different effects. Again same as with the audio tracks you can preview them by simply double clicking. And lastly you get 8 transitions which are these sort of glitch effects. So let's start with me showing you how I added the overlays to the video. Throughout the video you see a variety of different overlays and some filters too. So as an example I'm going to delete this last overlay right here by pressing delete on my keyboard. And now to add it back in I need to click on the overlay and drag it onto the timeline into the desired location and drag the edge to adjust to the length of the overlay. Now you may have noticed that there is another overlay on top of it. It's actually from a different pack, the dark and cinematic intro pack and what this basically is it adds the black lines on top and bottom of the video. But you do see in some of the overlays, for example this one and this one here but not all of them. So if you do want to achieve that effect this is a great pack to get it from. If you double click on the overlay in the timeline you'll get this effects window where you can use the slider to adjust the strength of the overlay. That can come in very handy especially if we have a look at this filter right here which I've set to 50 because if it's at 100 it does look a little bit too strong so you can dial it back by reducing the strength. Adding the filters from the effects tab is the same as with the overlay that I just showed you. You simply click and drag the filter onto your timeline. Next let me show you how simply you can add the transitions. So as an example let's use this transition right here. Which I've used to make the transition from the filter into the overlay a little bit smoother. I'm going to delete this transition by pressing delete on my keyboard and to add it back in I'm going to go to transitions tab and click and drag the transition into the desired location. You can also click on the edges and drag them in and out to adjust the length of your transition. Lastly to make the transition look less out of place I've added a sound effect underneath which is the one that comes in the horror filter film pack. For this I'm going to zoom into the timeline and delete this sound effect right here. Now I'm going to head over to the audio tab and drag the effect back in. It was this one right here, number 4. I'm going to click and drag it into the timeline. Now right now I think it's a little bit too loud so in order to fix that you can either double click on the sound effect and you can reduce the volume using this slider over here or you can use the slider on the timeline and it will bring the volume up or down. You can also change the pitch of the sound effect so if we make it lower you'll see that the effect sounds deeper and if I move it higher it'll have a more higher pitch. So there's a little bit of customizability that you can get on these sound effects too. You can also add some fade ins and phase out to make it a little bit smoother but I think this sound effect is a little bit too short. So I've placed a sound effect mostly under all of the glitches as well as some other sound effects on their own 
and I've also used this noise long deep loop from the horror filter pack just to add a little bit more dimension into my video so I'll show you what it sounds like just on its own. I think it blends really well with this horror atmosphere just to add some more suspense. And once you add the sound effects, you get an even better effect. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and that I gave you some ideas on how to use the horror film filter pack in your own videos. If you are interested in the pack, there will be a link in the description below, so go ahead and check it out. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Filmstock channel so you never miss any of the future uploads. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!